maybe you saw this yesterday, where the Pope invited Muslim imams into the Vatican to read the Quran and to chant and to pray. Now, I've got a column up at uh, rightlyconcerned.com this morning. You can read my comments on this, where I discuss the whole concept of interfaith services that Christian leaders are having with Muslim imams. And I have suggested that this is a horribly misguided practice. You will read about evangelical pastors who, in some, for the sake of unity or brotherhood or a comity or peace or community, whatever, will convene an interfaith service in their own sanctuaries, and they will invite neighboring imams to come and offer Muslim prayers in their sanctuary. And I uh, suggest that this is misguided because when Muslims pray, they are praying to a God that they refer to as Allah, who we know from the scriptures is not the true and living God, but is a demon God. Remember, not every being that occupies the unseen world, the spiritual world, is a good guy, is a good spirit. You know, we know from what the Bible teaches that there are good spirits, God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, the angels that are under his authority and sent by him to carry out his will, they are good spirit beings. But there is a whole host of supernatural beings that are sinister and dark and dangerous, and they are under the control of Satan, the prince of darkness. Now, Allah, as he is referred to and thought of and addressed and spoken of and invoked by Muslims, is not a god. He is a demon. 